For six years, Siddhartha and his followers lived in silence and never left the forest. For drink, they had rain. For food, they had a grain of rice or a broth of mud or the droppings of a passing bird. They were trying to master suffering by making their minds so strong they would forget about their bodies. Then, one day, Siddhartha heard an old musician on a passing boat speaking to his pupil. If you tighten the string too much, it will snap. And if you leave it too slack, it won't play. Suddenly, Siddhartha realized that these simple words held a great truth, and that in all these years he had been following the wrong path. The village girl offered Siddhartha her bowl of rice. And for the first time in years, he tasted proper food. But when the ascetics saw their master bathing and eating like an ordinary person, they felt betrayed, as if Siddhartha had given up the great search for enlightenment. Come and eat with me. You have betrayed your vows, Siddhartha. You have given up the search. We can no longer follow you. We can no longer learn from you. To learn is to change. The path to enlightenment is in the middle way. It is the line between all opposite extremes. was the great truth Siddhartha had found, the path he would teach to the world. 